Our core business is product development. Uh, most recently, we've gotten our first FDA approval for our first hormone therapy product, specifically Elestrin, for the treatment of menopausal women. And we've signed a very lucrative financial deal with Bradley Pharmaceuticals for the launch of that product, where we've already received or been uh, triggered $10 million in payments to Biosante. Beyond that, we have a long revenue stream, we hope, with royalties uh, with uh, going out to the extension of the patent to 2021. We also announced recently we initiated phase three clinical trials of our Libby gel, which is for female sexual dysfunction. And as you know, phase three is the last phase before FDA submission. Libby gel should make a big impact in female sexual dysfunction since today in the United States there is no pharmaceutical product approved for female sexual dysfunction. And we hope Libby gel makes a big contribution to women and to science. By the end of the first quarter, we'll have about $15 million in the cash, so in the bank, and so we think we're in a good financial position to implement our programs.